what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and bonsoir, welcome back to Untouchable Shark. If you haven't seen any of the series yet, we've, uh, we're trying to complete the entirety of Dark Souls 3 by killing every boss fight without getting hit during said boss fight. So if you get hit during a boss fight, we reset the boss fight. And uh, we do a bit of role-playing along the way uh, as this lovely fellow, Untouchable Jacques himself, who is a, a bit of a French aristocrat who wants to, uh, well, make Lotric his new fiefdom, actually. So uh, he's trying to uh, kill any nuisances to the local populace and just uh, get along a bit so he can start ruling his own little uh, little kingdom. But we're, uh, last time we killed a big, big, ugly tree and now we're actually just heading into this channel area, so the area where the, the giant was firing arrows from. I have a bit of a beef with this fellow, but let's go and have a little chat with him. But first, there's this lovely fellow with a big hammer. Let's have a little chat with him as well. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. I do reserve respect, sir. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. Excuse me? You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. I... wait a second. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. I don't like how this fellow is talking to me, but in the background there you can see what is going to be my realm, good sir. So I don't know I don't know how why you call me a frail maiden. I'm just gonna I just wanna kick you off right now. What is it now? I'm gonna... There! That should set you straight. There we go. Let's go into this abandoned church. Because I have a feeling this won't be so abandoned. Holy crap! Man, why are all the doors so heavy in this place? Oh. Okay. Elevator! Elevator? Hello? Ooh! Well, that seems to be a burly fellow, isn't it? Hello, good sir. Hmm. Hmm. What is his leg doing? Are you dancing on a rhythm? Boom, chicka, pom, pom. Boom, chicka, pom, pom. Boom, chicka, pom, pom. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Ooh, I like his voice already. I am Siegbert of Katarina. I am Chuck. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Oh, yes, good sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. 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 I like this guy. He kind of reminds me of myself a bit. Talks a bit like the same way. We kind of have the same goals, so let's talk again. This lift only goes down. But you know, with a little warming up, eventually... No. No. I've got to use my head and think. And you're only using your feet at the moment. Um, well, good sir, when we entered this place, you used the elevator to go up. You're not so smart, are you? But let's, um, you know what? I've actually never realized, just, just me for a second. I don't know what happens if you actually solve this immediately. Because if I... So this is a double elevator system, so one lift goes down and the other one comes down on top of it and that allows you to go up. But usually you just try to go down at the first time and then 
Sigurd over there finds the elevator, goes up, and he gets stuck somewhere in the middle. But here we go. This is a big ass tower, by the way. Let's go up and have a little chat with the giant. Hey, you big bully! I need to have words with you, boy! I help anytime. Okay. Um. I help anytime. Oh. Are we good then? Sir? Are we good? I help anytime. Okay then. Normally I need to say um, I'm a friend, but apparently since this is New Game Plus, I probably am already okay, so never mind. Let's go down again. Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. So it appears our good fellow has found a way up. Let's 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 check him out first. So up the elevator. And then we jump off at the right time. There we go. Sigurd, my man, Sigurd, let's have a little chat. Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> Okay, I don't think you have solved it, good sir, because I was on top and you are just somewhere in the middle, but... On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but... That thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Well, my good fellow, I've never backed down from a challenge, and this thing would annoy the hell out of my citizens, so let's go down. No! You should have waited! Hello! Well, it's too late now. By Zigward of the Knights of Katarina! Hello! And there we go! Beaten without getting hit a single time. It's not really a boss, but still, still a humongous beast taken care of. And now we have uh, our little friend here, so let's, uh, give me a second. Let's have a little toast with them. There we go, good sir. Clink, onto a successful battle. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Indeed we do. Thank you for the Siegbrow. Clink. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> There we go. Toast. Bottoms up, good sir, and thank you for the beer. So with that done, we still need to do a bit of spring cleaning, and that should be enough to make this uh, our next new settlement that we own. Because of course, everything we, everywhere we go, this becomes my property, obviously. These people were into some kinky shit. Well, this looks to be an inconspicuous item. Help! People! Calm down, stop with the kinky shit. People, move away from the items, please. There we go. I don't know how I hit you through that metal cage, but apparently that worked. Alluring skulls, how sarcastic, ironic. Well, these two have it all figured out now, don't they? They kind of look a bit like the tree I killed. Wouldn't want to turn into one of those things, so let's just keep moving, because sitting still turns you into these things, apparently. Well, this looks like a peculiar love story. Ah, uh, ladies, can I butt in? Ow! I do not want you to touch me, lady. No, I will not. And with that done, let's just leave the undead settlement behind us. I think the people will be, uh... 
well, satisfiably liberated by now. So back to the peculiar elevator and let's go down this time. Into the depths. Hmm, this seems like a big open place that we can do something with. Seems, uh, yeah, empty. But, uh, I might have use for such a room. Maybe a big throne room. Ooh, especially this with the fancy columns. Ooh, and there's an item over here. Oh, hello, sir. Who are you? Oh, God. Who the hell are you? Let's leave. No, 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 no. I am invincible. I'm a god. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Frosty Knight, I bid you adieu. I don't... Oh, God. Let's just uh, leave that fellow over there, shall we? The Road of Sacrifices. That sounds like a fun place to go. So yes, I am looking for this Aldrich fellow, a bit of a corrupt priest who seems to have, uh, yes, terribly corrupted these people. Let's smack the evil out of them. No, sir, what are you doing? They should not be calling this the Road of Sacrifices. They should be calling this the home of the crazy bird people. The crazy bird people who part, fart in purple. Ooh, hidden path? With items. Oh. Is that a crazy half-naked woman with a machete? Um, are you friendly, my lady? Hello? You seem not friendly. There we go. She was sharpening her blade to eat me. That cannibal lady was a bit, a bit weird, don't you think? Quickly taken care of, by the way. And, ooh, that was probably the clothes of the last person she ate. And there's probably a dirty message right behind its bum. Stop screaming, you madman! Does that... is that dog pregnant? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. It was a bit too enthusiastic. That was horrible. But I didn't get a book out of it. And a ring. Oh, Champs-Élysées. Do do di do do. Oh, Champs-Élysées. Do do di do do. Oh, hello. That seems like a friendly face. Oh, hello. How do you do? Well, perfect, my lady. I am Anne-Marie of Astora. Unkindled like you. This is Horace. A friend and travelling companion. And I am Shark. Nice and to meet you. And you in search of the Lords of Cinder. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. My lady, you're really spouting exposition we here. Cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. Oh yes, the corrupt priest. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Well, thank you, lady. I will, uh... I might actually take uh, you up on that. So uh, thank you and nice to meet you and adieu. And what about your grim companion over here? Sir Horace it was? Okay, not a man of many words. Let's go down in what she called the crucifixion woods. Doesn't sound like a very cheery place now, doesn't it? I don't think I... Sir, put down the toothpick. Sir. Put down the toothpick. Oh look, it's tiny crabs. That seems, that is so adorable. Let's just take that item. Oh God. Mon Dieu. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Ooh, stab you in the axac. You vile monstrosity. Oh. But you are adorable. You are an adorable little crap now, aren't you? Stab! Oh no! Ghost 73! Whatever shall I do? So, it appears somebody is hunting me! Just gonna heal up, sir. Hello, sir. There we go. Goodbye, watchdog of Farron. Adieu! Dark spirit destroyed and I got a bit of a... The loyal spirit. Well, that loyalty didn't bring him far, now did it? Oh, that's why this place is called the Crucifixion Woods. 
Because of people like this, they like to chain themselves up on poles. Silly people. Oh, sir, sir, you are about to fall. Sir, you have fallen. Sir, would you come down here? Sir? Okay, sir. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, would you look at that? Another friendly face with a lot of books and scrolls. Sounds so like a... Looks like a very smart man. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Um, sorceries. So yeah, we're looking for a fancy wizard. Are you the fancy wizard I need to kill? How intriguing. You will bring me knowledge. Knowledge? In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Well, if I bump into any of those, I will surely give you give them to you, my good man. You seem like a trustful fella. Very well. I am Orbeck of Vinheim. Orbeck, were you just Unkindled threatening one. me? I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Okay then. Oh! And he up and vanished again. But, I mean, he left this behind. I think we might have a little fun here. There we go! Scrolls everywhere! But since Orbeck wasn't the sorcerer we're looking for, who will be? Oh, this seems like a, a lovely open space. But uh, I think this... Uh, I'm gonna need a bit of lightning on my weapon. Like this. Here we go. Oh, there's a wizard. He seems like a fancy wizard. Okay, the arena is on fire. On crystal fire. There he is. Come on. Okay, that was almost, almost done. Almost done. Where is he? Where is he? Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Ah, I got hit. Damn it, I need to stop. No! Second attempt. I'm gonna be in a bit of a disadvantage now because he spawns immediately. So we'll get a shot off this time. Oh crap. Ah, oh, crap, yeah. Okay. Ah, crap. Ah. Nope. Ah, crap, I got hit. Yeah, I need to stop. Damn it. Ah, crap. Ah, damn it. Nope. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. Nope. Oh, well. Yeah. Ah. It's, a, it's very hard to do. I was afraid of this with the projectiles, but god damn, this is difficult. There we go, first five hits. Easy peasy. There we go. Then I'm gonna reapply, drink my Ashen Estes flask, and then church garden shoes. Oh god. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Come on. There we go! Goodbye, you wizard brick! Au revoir, you dipshit! Okay, there we go. Crystal Sage, without getting hit. 
in the bag. And there we go, another successful episode of Untouchable Jacques with, uh, yeah, the, the death and the demise of the Crystal Sage. Next time, we will be heading up that lovely cathedral behind me and we'll uh, start whacking some priests in their, uh, yeah, yeah, their corrupt little faces. Because, yeah, I'm not saying that all priests are corrupt, by the way. I'm just saying that the priests in that cathedral specifically are very corrupt because, yeah, they're actually eating people and children and the like. So, yeah. Not really a nice bunch of chaps over there, but thank you enormously for watching, and au revoir in the next episode of Untouchable Jacques. Goodbye.